topic that that jumps to mind, and I think it's uh, <laughs> on on a lot of women's mind is hormones. Yes. And I, in the past, and I know just watching even my mother go through you know hormone changes when I was a child is that you know a lot of doctors have told you there's nothing you can do about your hormones changing, exactly. right? And so, do you agree with that? Are there things that we can do to prevent some of those those symptoms and changes that are happening? Absolutely, and it's it's not just that. Uh, patients go through symptoms and they know what it is. The, the most dangerous thing, I believe, is that patients have symptoms that are misinterpreted as depression, anxiety, and they start getting treated with medications for those particular conditions where really the underlying cause is hormone deficiency that is very easy to correct. So it really sets off sometimes a vicious cycle. Women have hormone deficiencies and uh, they have anxiety. Uh, most likely due to testosterone deficiency, they have difficulty sleeping at night, and they get put on anxiety medications, antidepressants, and then they put on even more weight because those medications make people gain weight and they become even more depressed. So it's really a vicious cycle. And then in response to that, they're getting put on even more medications. Now they're on a diet pills. It really pills. is a vicious cycle, isn't yes. it? It's crazy. So, so you're able, with what you do, you're able to evaluate that and really even in some cases slow that cycle down or even stop the cycle altogether. Definitely alleviate symptoms and there are health benefits to it too. Uh, I'm trying to do the most scientific way of evaluating um, hormones. I do a blood test where estrogen and testosterone in women are evaluated and we replace it with bioidentical hormones which are natural hormones made of soy and yams. The reason they are called bioidentical is because in chemical structure, they're exactly like the hormones we produce, our body produces, so it has the least amount of um, side effects. But in addition to alleviating symptoms, there are also true health benefits from hormones. For example, testosterone increases muscle mass and decreases um, fat mass. Estrogen increases bone density, so it's a very good therapy in avoiding, uh, minimizing the risk of osteoporosis and even stabilizing osteoporosis.